We all know the magician Mikhail Dal who shocked his opponents by his crazy sacrifices. So let's see how in this game Magnus shocked his opponent with his crazy sacrifices. The game started with the Karo Khan defense. White goes knight c3. Black takes this pawn and then white recaptures. After that, black goes with the classical variation with bishop g5 attacking this knight. Knight g3 hits the bishop. So the bishop moves back. h4 trying to trap the bishop. So black plays h6 creating an escape square for the bishop. Both sides developing their knights. White goes h5 hitting the bishop. Bishop moves back. And then white goes bishop to d3 offering a trade of bishops. Black takes. White recaptures with the queen. And then here black goes e6 opening up the bishop. White plays bishop to f4 preparing to castle long. Black goes knight f6. White castles. Black plays bishop to e7 preparing to castle. White goes knight to e4 centralizing his knight. Black goes queen a5 attacking this pawn. White plays king b1. And here black castle. And here Magnus first traded knights. And after black takes, he centralizes his other knight, controlling this spurs. Here, black goes rook to d8, putting this rook on the semi-open find, lining up with the queen. So he moved the queen out of the way. Black goes c5, attacking this pawn. And here, Magnus shocked his opponent by playing knight to g6, hitting the rook and the bishop. Black takes and then queen takes e6 is a check. He cannot block with the rook because h takes g6 wins the rook as this rook is pinned to the queen. Therefore, king to h8 and here white goes h takes g6 threatening the bishop and some deadly sacrifices on this h file. So black plays the best move knight to g8 defending this bishop and this h pawn. Since this knight is overloaded, so white sacrifices the bishop. Pawn takes and then he sacrifices his rook as well. Knight takes and then queen takes bishop, threatening a mate on g7. The only way to save this is to play knight to f7, giving back the knight. He recaptured with the pawn. Now white is threatening rook to h1 check which will soon lead to a checkmate. Therefore, he decided to run away with the king. So king to g7. Here Magnus goes with rook to d3. Threatening rook to g3 check. Here his opponent went rook to d6. Now here white cannot take this rook because queen to e1 will be a checkmate. Therefore, he goes rook to g3 check. Black blocks with the rook. Then queen e5 check. King takes f7. And then queen to f5 check. Threatening the rook. Therefore rook f6. But then queen to d7. Is a checkmate. I hope you had fun watching this game. Well I have another nice game. Of Grandmaster Pragnananda. You can check this out by clicking here. And if you want to learn some chess traps. Then you can check this playlist and don't forget to subscribe for more.